when you uh, follow my YouTube channel, you can surely find the project that I'm working on. It's the synthesizer project. And it was made here with a few A stable multi vibrators, with a few transistors. And um, uh, important to tell that I made it in such a way that there was no hand effect when touching the knobs. Say, uh, here it's a kind of piano and I can touch the knobs here and they make an electrical contact. That electrical contact uh, switches in the different capacitors here. Say for instance this one, 1.5 microfarad and lower value um, capacitors that all do their job in this case by generating certain frequencies. And I can demonstrate that here. So for instance when I push this knob here on the scope you can see the different frequencies. Well, give, give it some sound. There's at the moment a uh, sound that's uh, uh, generated here, but when I push the knob there's another sound. I will try to, to uh, explain that better, but on when you go to the text box of this video uh, you can see how this kind of synthesizer circuit works. Anyway, somewhat more sound perhaps interesting. etc. The aim of this video is to show a 3 pol filter or a 2 pol filter made with a NPN transistor with an amplification factor of approximately 250 and the schematic is here. So I show here that you can change a uh, square wave into a kind of sine wave. And with this filter, it's not a 3 pole filter, but a 2 pole filter that will never be uh, perfect. It depends on the frequency that you send in here via that uh, square wave oscillator into the filter. Um, and that means that especially on the low frequencies this filter does not generate a very pure sine wave but on the higher audio frequencies say above 2000 Hz up to approximately 4000 Hz this filter can work properly. I want to demonstrate that now. Here is how it was made here. And the potentiometer here sets the amplification of the transistor that has to do one job. And that job is to amplify the very diminished output signal out of the filter. So where it changes from a square wave into a kind of sine wave, it has to lift up the energy out of the filter to a very substantial level. And then I mean, say, line level, approximately 0 0.8 volt AC out. And it can do that job 
very, very properly. Anyway, up here we have a certain frequency generated uh, by the oscillator here. And well, let's see, this was this knob, so when I, and now we'll switch on the audio. You can surely see that on the lowest frequency uh, the waveform, <coughs> even when it gets out of the filter, that is this filter here, is not very sine wave like. So this filter is not very, the output on the low frequencies, low frequencies is not very sine wave like anyway that does not have to be a problem because in this synthesizer i only want to make peculiar sounds that's the aim of the synthesizer and uh, that also means that perhaps i don't need a very pure sine wave at its output but uh, let's go again, let's listen what, what happens. So I switch off now all the parallel uh, uh, switches out and let's see and listen how the waveform looks like. And listen, of course, lowest frequency. Each somewhat Fears, more fears. Well, is this good? Well, okay. Not a very pure sine wave on this low frequency, but anyway, a higher frequency. Let's listen and see. Looks much better on that higher frequency, so that filter with the certain capacitors uh, works somewhat better anyway higher frequency let's set the scope that's not bad and higher that doesn't work so, on this highest frequency here, uh, I, I need a lot of more amplification on the scope. So, you can surely see that on that highest amplification, uh, like you heard it, that filter uh, doesn't work so well anyway, but of course you can change the capacitors here, now they are a 0.22 microfarad, so 220 nanofarad. You can change them to other values, say 10 nanofarad here, or 10 nanofarad here, 10 nanofarad here. In that case, this filter will work much better on the higher frequencies, the higher audio frequencies, that's what I mean. Uh, anyway, let's look what the amplification factor here of the transistor can bring. That's this amplification factor here. Let's see. On the highest frequency. Uh, I have to switch on now the highest frequency this is 
say the highest frequency that this filter can bring when the amplification here is set to its maximum. And of course, when we go to lower frequencies, that will be more critical. And I will show that the amplification will be more easier more easier on the lower frequencies. Anyway, let's try. Here is my signal tracer that does the job. Here is the waveform. So switch off and now I go to the lowest frequency available. So again, the lowest frequency available must be in the 100 hertz range. And you can surely see that the amplification of the uh, transistor here does its job. So uh, that could be interesting to show what happens when we change the value of the emitter resistor to a lower level. Perhaps there's less uh, distortion, a, a better waveform, etc. I'm going to do that now, here. With my screwdriver. Let's see. So, here we see the effects of changing The 1K emitter resistor value at the emitter of the BC547. Overdrive. Kind of medium drive. Lower amplification. And of course, when we look better at the scope form, The same thing applies. It's surely not a better sine wave on that low frequency, but anyway. Go to a higher frequency. As long as my camera works, I'm now on 12, on 12 minutes, so I only have 15 minutes, but that's okay. Here. Here we have a frequency. in the somewhat higher range. Not bad, by the way. Not bad, and let's see what happens when we change here that 1K potentiometer. Anyway, let's try. Also, kind of overdrive, distortion, not distortion, kind of distortion, anyway. Of course, such a waveform is not pure. You can hear it. You can always surely hear whether a audio signal it has wave uh, sine wave properties or not and this audio signal does not have sine wave properties so whatever i go back to the schematic my camera runs out more or less i'm on 14 minutes and the maximum that my camera can give is 15 minutes so the schematic again. Interesting to do all these experiments. It's an interesting schematic. It more or less always works. And you can surely change square waves into other waveforms and then especially kind of sine waves and 
on the higher frequencies. This filter can surely, and I mean the highest, higher audio frequencies, this filter can surely uh, give out sine waves. Thanks for watching. Pen over somewhat.